Today I'm going to show you how I took this handheld landscape image in Iceland and turned it into a dramatic image using both Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. Let's get into it. Oh, hang on, I'm more enthusiastic. Let's get into it. So thank you very much for joining me today and here we are in Lightroom with this shot that I took in Iceland. This shot was actually taken on the very last day of my trip and I was heading out of the Icelandic highlands going back to Reykjavik to my hotel. It was a long drive too, it was like four or five hours. As I was driving out, I looked out to my left and I noticed there was this amazing rainstorm happening over one of the long plains and the light from the sun had broken through the cloud and was filtering down and creating this most amazing light hitting on the rain as it fell. And what I did was I just quickly pulled the car over, grabbed my Nikon D750 with the 80 to 400 mm lens and I took this shot handheld. The information on this shot was it was taken at ISO 100 at 400 mm at f11 at 1 320th of a second. Initially when I first looked at this shot I thought it would probably work best as a black and white image and to do that I'm just going to come up to where it says treatment here and click on black and white. The next thing what I'm going to do is just drop down to where it says lens corrections just tick these two off here where it says remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. That just gets rid of any sort of vignetting or any sort of distortion in the lens. Now what I'm going to do is just come up and start using my sliders here. First of all, I'm going to add something like about 40% in whites, just to lift up that storm there, as well as I'm just going to add 25 in blacks. All up, I'm just going to increase the exposure just a little bit, as well as I'm just going to increase the contrast just to something like plus 10. With the rainstorm, I want some more definition in those lines of water coming down and hitting the ground. To do that, I'm just going to come over to highlights and drop those down quite significantly, something down to like minus 60. And you can see there's much more definition in the rain now. With the shadows, you can see in the foreground here, it is quite dark. And the great thing about the Nikon D750, it has an amazing dynamic range and we can recover these shadows. So I'm just going to lift those shadows up a little bit but not too much. Now, the reason why I'm not lifting those up is I'm about to show you in a minute, but something like plus 60 for getting rid of those shadows. Now, the next thing what I'm going to do is up on the top there, I want to give those clouds some real drama. So I'm coming up to where it says graduated filter or you just click M on your keyboard, click on new, just come over to the middle and just drag down to about a third of the way into the screen, like so and I'm just going to drop the exposure down and you can see it's giving some real mood into those clouds. Now, as I was saying before with the shadows down here in this foreground, once again, I'm going to apply a graduated filter on there, just gonna drag up to about halfway up into the image. But this time I'm going to the opposite way. I'm going to lift up the exposure so we can really see that bit of detail in the foreground there. And I don't mind that there is just this little tiny bit of a dark edge around the outside there because it does give some nice difference between the foreground landscape and the background landscape. You can see that there is a little tiny bit of softness in the image and I'm going to sharpen it up a little bit. To do that I'm just going to come down to where it says presence and I'm just going to give it some clarity, something like about 15. That's made the image just a little bit sharper as well as I'm just gonna make this light storm stand out a little bit more and I'm gonna give it some dehaze of 10. The thing is at the moment, I'm not too happy with this foreground. I just think that this foreground is just, there's just nothing happening, it's too dead. So I think this image would work much better as a 16.9 image. To do that, I'm just gonna click on crop and over here where it says original, just click on these little arrows and bring it down to something like 16.9. Then what I'm going to do is just drag it up and I think the image works much better if I start my foreground at something around about here and then just hit enter. From this point here, I'm just going to send it on over into Photoshop. So just come down to your little image here in the bottom left 
and I'm going to right click and edit in Adobe Photoshop 2020. So here we are, we've got our image in Photoshop. To begin with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of work on these power lines. Now, I don't know if you've been to Iceland before, but these power lines are quite huge. And the thing is, I want to keep these in the shot. Some people might want to clone tool these out because they don't want them ruining their landscape. But I actually want to keep those in because I think it gives this rainstorm scale. I mean, this rainstorm was huge. I mean, that's the reason what stopped me in the first place to get this shot. But at the moment, these power lines are a little dark and I'm just gonna burn a little bit of light into them. To do that, I'm just coming over to my dodge tool here and clicking on that, I'm just gonna drop the exposure down to something like about 30%. As well as, I'm just gonna use a very soft edge brush. I'm just gonna drop that down to something like 300. And I'm just gonna burn some light into this landscape here. So it almost looks like light has escaped through the cloud and it's hitting down onto the ground where these power lines are. Next, what I'm going to do is I wanna give this picture a real ethereal look. I want it to really pop out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna come over here and right click and hit duplicate layer and hit okay. And then what I'm going to do is just come up to where it says filter and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. And at the moment that blur is a little bit too much. I'm just gonna drop it down to 15 and hit enter. Now you can see it's given this blur over the entire image, but if you just come over to where it says fill down here, I'm gonna drop that opacity all the way down to something like about 20%. And you can see what's happened is the image has taken on this really beautiful light glow on it. And it really does give it that ethereal dramatic type look. From here, it's pretty simple. All I'm going to do is flatten the image and just give it a nice little border. And there it is. There's our finished dramatic landscape shot from Iceland. So that's it. That's the way I like to create dramatic black and white landscape images using both Lightroom and Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching. Never stop creating and I will see you next time.